Hey guys, and welcome to Sekudo. Shadows die twice. Oh, wait, hold on. Shit. That's the wrong one. <clears throat> welcome to Neo, a Japanese themed third person RPG that uh, might be just a little bit harder than Sekiro. Published by the developers of the Ninja Gaiden series Team Ninja, Neo is a mission based game that includes stat upgrading, skill unlocking, weapon and gear equipping, and a lot of dying. So much so, I was actually struggling a bit just to get some footage for this video. So, you play this man known as William, an Englishman who sails to Japan in order to recover an old friend of his named Sersha, who is a guardian spirit that he's had since he was a boy, from the main antagonist of the game named Edward Kelly, an alchemist who stole Sersha because she has the ability to locate this resource known as Amrita, which is the XP resource in this game much like souls are in Dark Souls. Now, what's pretty cool about this game is it's inspired by real events. William is based on William Adams, who made the same voyage for the Dutch East India Company in the same time period. He grew a friendship with one of the most influential people in Japanese history, Iyasu Tokugawa, who ruled Japan as Shogun until his death in 1616, but had set up the Tokugawa Shogunate to rule Japan for the next 250 years, otherwise known as Edo period Japan. The developers took a look at this piece of history and found that William had been trained as a samurai, which is an extremely rare thing to have happen. They thought he was a badass, so they decided to make the game about him. Starting things off in the game, however, you, as William, are stuck in prison waiting for the chance to get out. From here, you learn very basic combat mechanics like light attacks and heavy attacks, and learn about equipment and how you can equip two main weapons, two ranged weapons, five clothing items, two accessories, and eight side items. After spending time fighting and killing a lot of other Englishmen, we get to our first boss fight to test you on how well you know the basic mechanics of dodging and hitting. After this fight, we begin our journey to Japan to officially start the game. But during this interlude, we input some starting point customizations for early game stat picking from a list of weapons, each of which you will have ample time to play around with over the course of the game. And we also pick up our guardian weapon, a nifty little mechanic that I'll go into later. After inputting your choices, new players have the option to go into a tutorial mode that adequately explains the mechanics you'll use throughout the game. Aside from skills you'll use and learn, the most important mechanic you learn is the stance mechanic, where you can adjust William's stance to high, middle, and low. Each offer different strengths and weaknesses depending on the situation you use them and also come with different animations for every weapon in the game. Basic thing to remember is high stance is high damage but vulnerable openings, low stance is low damage but easy to dodge and doesn't leave you open during attacks, and middle is a better balance of the two. Middle damage, middle blocking, you know what I mean. Also pretty unique to the game are the Guardian weapons. They are spirits that you can equip, each of which have special abilities that benefit your playthrough and can be used as a fighting tool. Popping it off unleashes a short duration of power that can overwhelm whatever you fight and while active prevents you from taking damage, until the Guardian weapon meter runs out that is. Tutorial done, time to move on to your first mission to test yourself if you can handle the game. For me, the official selling point of the game was this. Defeating this first enemy with your brand new katana, and after killing him, you have the freedom to flick the blood off the weapon and sheath it. Samurai Simulator Immersion Successful. Well then, good luck, and enjoy yourself. Thanks for checking out the video, I appreciate it very, very much. If you liked the video, please give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, be sure to share this video with someone you know or someone you don't. Strangers are cool. And be sure to subscribe to see what other games I cover. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next video.